Well, thank you very much, Kellyanne. And it's an honor to be with you. I just said I was going to stop over, say hello to some of the great families and uh, some friends, some friends that have had some incredible difficulty. Uh, I know what you're going through. Melania is here someplace. Where is our first lady? Where is she? Where's Melania? Hello, darling. So, she feels so strongly about it. Kellyanne feels so strongly about it. And I do. And a friend of mine, Steve Whitkoff, who's a great developer in New York City. Stand up, Steve. I didn't know you were going to be here. Steve had some uh, big difficulty. He went through. Steve, come on up here. Steve has been one of my great friends over the years. Tremendously successful man. And would you want to just discuss this? Because we're all among friends or you know, it's a tough thing to discuss, right? But I, I was there when I was there when he was going through something uh, with a very special boy, right? Yes. Go ahead. Sir. I remember the hug you uh, gave me um, when the world was when I was when I felt all was lost. I listened to Eric's story. I lost my son in 2011, um, and he didn't buy drugs on the dark net. He bought drugs on the internet. Um, a website owned by three of the largest U.S. corporations in the country today. Um, so it's not just the dark net, but um, he was a great kid, and he detoxed um, the first night um, with me. So he was my uh, he was my special child. So if I lost him, I, I always felt I always felt like hopeless before you were elected. And I've never lobbied my friend about anything. I've just supported you because I so believe in you. But if my son knew that you were going to take up this battle, oh my gosh, he must be upstairs applauding every single day. So I am so grateful. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. You take it away. Thank you. And, and Steve went through something where he thought everything was perfect. He thought everything was fine. And his boy was recovered. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he got some very bad news. So uh, I fully understand what you're, what you're going through. The administration's going to be rolling out policy over the next three weeks. And it'll be very, very strong. Uh, I've also spoken with Jeff about bringing a lawsuit against some of these opioid companies. I mean, what they're doing and the way the distribution and you have people that go to the hospital with a broken arm, and they come out, and they're addicted. They're addicted to painkillers, and they don't even know what happened. They go in for something minor, and they come out, and they're, they're uh, in serious shape. So we're going to very much, you know, as you know, we've been, I think we've been involved more than any administration by far. Uh, it's a problem that's growing, and drugs are a similar but different problem in the sense that we have pushers and we have drug dealers that don't I mean they kill hundreds and hundreds of people and most of them don't even go to jail you know if you shoot one person they give you life they give you the death penalty these people can kill 2000 3000 people and nothing happens to them and we need strength with respect to the pushers and to the drug dealers and if we don't do that, you're never going to solve the problem. If you want to be weak and you want to talk about just blue ribbon committees, that's not the answer. The answer is you have to have strength and you have to have toughness. The drug dealers, the drug pushers are, they're really doing damage. They're really doing damage. Some countries have a very, very tough penalty, the ultimate penalty. And by the way, they have much less of a drug problem than we do. So we're going to have to be very strong on penalties. Hopefully, we can do some litigation against the, the opioid companies. I think it's very important because a lot of states are doing it. But I keep saying, if the states are doing it, why isn't the federal government doing it? So that'll happen. So that'll happen. In the meantime, I just want to pay my respects to everybody. Uh, some of you have gone through a lot. Many of you in this room have gone through a lot, more than anyone can imagine. We're with you 100 percent. We're fighting for you. And we're going to win. We're going to win. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.